Buffalo, New York. It says, my question is related to improv as method qua medium. Please compare and contrast the show's improvisational method with Commedia dell'arte, commenting on the political and sociological influences of each. Wow. <laughs> A lot of smart That's people rich. out there, I guess. Uh, no, there's no. No, nothing. We get no comparison. Uh, I no. remember making masks in college. Yeah. Okay. I'll drive to the hospital. We'll just take the whole thing. And the great thing about improv is, is that it just, by nature, you digress. Yeah. You know? And as long as you're focused on the other person. Now, if you're one of those improvisers where you're, like, showing off how bright I am mm -hmm. and I'm going to come up with monologues and... Uh, you're gonna get screwed. Yeah. But if you're focused on the other person and taking what they give That's you. That's what I love. And while we've all got the flu and we've touched every single product as we put it on the shelf, that doesn't necessarily mean you'll get it. Come on down, see if you get it. Maybe you won't. Well, I dance. Oh yeah. Yeah, I pop it every once in a while, so. I think people associate, my opinion is, people associate comedy with with throwing jokes out. Mm -hmm. And really, when you look at successful comedy, that's not what it is. Yeah. The jokes run thin after a while. You look at like Spinal Tap or something. R right. You know, it's, yes, it's funny, but it's about behavior. It's about relationships. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> From all of us here at the Greens and Grains grocery store. Let's get along this season, shall we? Not that much. Okay. I wasn't do I was just doing it in character. I'm playing a man. Me too. He has a follow-up question, Nancy. Yeah. Also, is Kirsten Gronfeld really like really like totally hot and junk? And yeah, the answer is she's a very attractive woman. Very attractive. Oh, you can see that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why you need me to confirm that. Yeah. I've Sorry. heard that actual oh. customers were shopping during filming of the show. What, what was the funniest, rudest, or weirdest moment with a real customer? By the way, totally loved this show and was so upset when it was canceled. Thanks for the laughs. This is Amy in Lake Mary, Florida. Well, Amy, um... Yeah, there were actual customers, and I remember one time, this was also in the episode The Milkman, uh, I was yelling at somebody in yeah, the scene. I remember and that. And some customer guy, an older, older man, didn't know we were shooting a show. He thought I was a manager at the grocery store who was just yelling at somebody. And he came running over, you shouldn't talk to people like that. Remember that? He was <laughs> I do remember that. that. And I was like, dude, there's cam look at the camera. He didn't notice the no. cameras, nothing. Very upset. Yeah. There was also a holdup oh, in yes. the store while we were shooting. Yep. And they, they sprayed him with pepper spray. Yeah, we were on the other side of the store, so we didn't know anything. All of a sudden, we saw some cops carry a guy out whose hands were handcuffed. We were like, what happened? Oh, there was a holdup. I and tried to get it. Gun. Remember, I tried to get it on film, and they yeah. wouldn't let me. Nancy was like, shoot it, shoot it. All right. Mrs. Wilson is coming through. Please. She just had a stroke.